Sheep, do you think you're a good listener? Of course I am. I've always been a caring friend. I will read their tasks if I can't reply in time, so you know I'm here for them. If a friend needs to vent, I'm always listening. I'm really stressed out. Work just keeps piling up. When a friend really burns out, I'll for sure let off steam with him. I can't do it anymore. Can't even get four hours of sleep a day. I'm really. Come on, don't be sad. Let's go grab a bite. It seems you really care about your friends. Of course, we should always help our friends. Hmm. But do you know how does your friend feel? Yes, he's, um, um. Well, I mean, he's not happy, and the best thing to do is to relax. Right. I do understand him. Right. You don't think so? Hmm. Okay, perhaps I don't get it. What? I get it, sheep. You do value your friends. I know it from my heart. It's actually more than enough. But I don't know how you feel. This isn't your fault. We seldom talk about feelings, after all. You don't really know how to comfort me. But I do want to know. Can you tell me? All right. I'm really overwhelmed by work. Lots of my colleagues resign. That's why. So, what's the right way to react? If you could let others know if you're really busy, pick a right time to talk. Sometimes we don't know how to respond, but it's good enough if we could just listen. It's already comforting having a listener up close. If a friend really cracks up, a good company beats any solutions or distractions. Just get some tissue ready, maybe a tap on the shoulder, and sit with him or her. If a friend is really troubled, I know. Don't offer a solution. Just listen to how he feels. Grabbing a bite together is not a bad idea. Huh? Spending time with friends is always my best coping strategy. That's why I keep hang out with you. All right, let's go then. Dinner's on me. By the way, you got any more tips? Show me. If you two want to comfort people around you, if you want to know a trick or two, hear us out for some choices of words in a conversation. If someone says he's really sad, don't say, "Don't be sad." Go with, "Right, you're really sad now." Don't say, "I understand," but try. I can't imagine how bad the situation is, but I do see you are really distressed. If someone cries next to you. Don't say stop crying. Crying doesn't change a thing. Try. Take your time. We'll figure it out later.